back to not exciting battle of survival chaos we can go for the body goats the cowboys or the fellox i think satires have been the race we did not play with for the longest time no gold mines nearby so she'll go set eyes still not exactly used to them let's go Acolytes of Chaos, Mages with Healing Ward and Anti Air. That's pretty nice. Good combination there. Corrupted Ancient Defender. 50% chance of summon spoiled, 300 kill. Club of Critical Strike, interesting. Perfection seems really good though. Um, but yeah, I think we got some okay early beginning with our mages. Um, we'll explain with the melee units, so that's gonna be tough though. But we should be okay against the rogue, which is pretty exciting for the satires that you are only gonna be overrun in one lane. Normally, you often are losing both side lanes. So yeah, thank you for that demon worships. My question though is, do we want to apply more pressure to the rogue since we are winning here? Do we want to go greedy mill lane, which we might be losing against the murloc if we do? Or do we go defense against the murlocs? Yeah, I think going against rogue is the safest uh, route that we can take. Is there no game sound? There is for me. Are you guys hearing in-game sounds? If anyone can confirm that to me. Game is a bit quiet. Okay, maybe we just fix that now. Are the settings working better now? <clears throat> Is it still very quiet? I don't think this will make any difference for you guys. Maybe I'm just shouting too loud. Alright. And now it's now. Is it good or is this overkill? Oh, we just missed out on the upgrade. That's painful. Trying to fix it. Kind of ruined us there. Rogue upgraded. Rogue will have to be careful with the Murlocs owning the middle lane. And they're gonna be under pressure here. So he's gonna be sweating a little bit now. But if it was Rogue, I probably would want to buy some units already. To make these enemies go to the side a little bit more. We are trying to protect the Rogue at the middle lane now. He's still to here, so he's gonna be fine. But that was a very naughty start there. The rogue Murloc kept in neutral building, which might be against us, so we better be careful there. We have to keep our eye out on the potential Murloc lips, which might come for us. Is the microphone still working alright in combination with the uh, in game sounds? If there are some issues with that, then let me know ASAP. He did not upgrade against me. Oh my good lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> what a lovely game already this is.
<clears throat> I was gonna love when people leave like that. Yeah, the AI might be able to take this a little bit better, but that is why I said if I was rogue, I probably would have bought X units. <sighs> You gotta love the fighting spirit of the average Joe in uh, the Warcraft universe. My things go a little bit bad, they just leave. They have no balls nowadays anymore. And if they could, they would probably order them from Timu, but... <laughs> yeah, the... the... It's crazy. It's mind blowing how often things like this happen in public games. Or even Wack Free are ranked for that matter. Anyway, the T4 could be fun. Our bonus is Mage and T4. Good evening, Master Falkron. Anyway, we better be getting rid of the brokers as quickly as we can. Long is alive, the legends we will be killing on this lane, and the further we will probably fall behind. So he, he gotta be erased. But then again, we will have a long uh, lane uh, spawning against the uh, good old goblins. Uh, the neutral buildings will only give us 5 gold, so that's utterly useless as well. <clears throat> so here what happens, if we can control the middle lane then that will be ideal, but going early tier 3 or tier 4 middle lane would be quite risky, wouldn't it? Yeah, he will definitely attack us, despite the fact that we are leading on unit upgrades. It's gonna be pointless to send out early here at the middle lane, because we will probably just attack the governors early on. Yeah, Rogue might be tier 2, but he will be losing units defending us here. Let Rogue get a rough start. He did deal with the Mulek threat decently well, despite not buying any units. But the fact that he lost that bottom was just incredibly poorly played. I wonder if the Murlocs are tier 2 in the main hall or perhaps even tier 3 top. Because he's chilling out way more than you would expect from any Murloc. Maybe just one tier 3 middle lane, okay. <clears throat> Guess he wants a small piece of the rogue as well. Um, getting a double mage here would be ideal because we have some decent anti-air abilities. <clears throat> we will have an extra healing ward as well. Now we can always decide to go tier 4. But <clears throat> yeah, this guy cannot take the middle lane because if we do, he will probably wreck up the rogue way quicker than we want to see. So we need a tier 3 barracks, preferably within one spawn from now. <clears throat> Rogue's still gonna be backstabbing us. You guys will be staying alive for a little while long as well. Ogans did not spawn here, great time. Just lovely. We're trying to protect you, Rogue, by killing you first. <laughs> Oh dearie. <clears throat> yeah, I don't mind those millions that oh my god, we could have upgraded that. We were just too slow. I'm stupid. Well, we might still be able to break the Malocalypse there.
Just make them into pieces, please. <clears throat> take him down, take him down. Some hits are fine, but this will definitely hurt a lot. But I'm gonna let it happen so that we can hopefully get to four mid lane a little bit quicker. Just gonna allow ourselves to get beaten, uh, <clears throat> beat up there anymore. Let's stun them. Oh, dearie. <clears throat> He's pushing through. That's an old shame. At least those mages are dying. Hopefully we can still rack up that turret. Maybe it's gonna get one more wave because my units are fighting here. And not there hitting the fort. Goblin hero, interesting. Unlikely at the mid lane. And he just went to uh, two against him. He was tier one, so he would I'd have to redirect there. But we can see plus six, so he's under attack by the Murlocs. So I think we can assume that the uh, doubles are playing mostly defensive there while greening up. <coughs> Rogue, you better hold this. To one spell is slightly necessary. It's not even big wave, so come on. But we might not be hitting the Murlocs in the lane for a little while. But that's probably only a matter of time before the Rogue will lose this. I'd wait, I want my tip 4. No one's gonna take that middle lane away from me. <coughs> yep, ton gold for the Murlocs. Hopefully it's not gonna be wrecking up that fort. Yeah, not the idea of fighting the Murlocs mid lane really sucks for us there. Which means the Murlocs will probably get that 100 gold for destroying the fort. <clears throat> Maybe not. Yeah, I did not check out how much gold we had, but we might have been the one slayed. Ooh, he's playing with scrap bots. Tier 2 unit placement, that's scary. Yeah, we're probably the only one still with a level 1 fort. Obviously, his one is destroyed, but he had a tier 2 one. Cool, we did. He said 2, he even went tier 3 against us. So I think we want to send a hero, Xavius, for slow counter like there. <clears throat> He's tier 3, he was playing with bandit mages, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Sad stuff can happen in this game, Master Sanjar. Will we have 1,300 more gold before the Murlocs attack me? I'll be honest, I'm not so convinced because we're barely getting gold mid lane and we're barely getting gold any here. The two spell might help out, but... Oof. Maybe going to 3 here might have been the better option. We'll see what happens. Goblins might be wrecking up the place here. He's the 3 if he gets a wave, he might be okay. Goblin destroyed us now, I think. Yeah, we do not have enough gold for here there yet. Would have been quite helpful if we could actually destroy an enemy barracks. This is since this is not gonna give us any decent gold at all. Let's just armor up. <clears throat> the wave did not spawn a good time for us. Big Aura would make the fanning a lot more pleasant. But they will not hit the mages yet. 
<clears throat> I still think we have to use it. The Murlocs. They are enjoying that time here a little bit too much. They will even take control for a little while with the Pocket Factory. Wow. Maybe I expected too much from my tier 4. But they are not impressing me too much yet. Hopefully they will soon. I think we want uh, 3 ends up. Oh, look at this, they might even take me there. It's actually even a... <clears throat> rather tricky wave here because we are having a long spawning barracks now. And the goblins should be coming in soon. There they are. Perfect. We're casually betting on army strength, but it's not working out yet. This blood might be okay. These are the critical strike at phantom power. Yeah, not bad. Armor would get. Goblins are leveling up their heroes more than I would like to see. <clears throat> Could try to get a hero here to take down Xavius. Uh, Xavius, I mean guess though. <laughs> but Xavius probably would be the best hero for that. But I think even without a hero, we should be fine there sooner or later. Purple would be nice. Foot rain would be a massive power boost. Especially if we go to three or even the four bears. Look at this goal difference. The blessings of getting rid of an enemy barracks early on. The two magic will be amazing, especially in the middle lane since we have two mages there. We're not up yeah we are only upgrading the duration for the healing ward but that's pretty good already but the uh, free barracks everywhere would be lovely <clears throat> the jail with tier 3 should win against tier 2 from the goblins but our tier 4 if that backs up sejira she might still have a little bit of issues taking down gesto here that's kind of happening isn't it Because blood would be amazing. More HP and regeneration. Oh boy. But Sejira is getting lucky there. T3 on the right side might not be worth an on long lane. But we might still be considering it one way or another. <clears throat> yeah, we gave victory to Sejira there. We might still take it down. It's gonna be close. But we do have some good damage. Goblins better not mess it up. Thank you. Yeah, let those guys waste gold into heroes. Biggest issue we might face though is getting a special unit while having weak heroes of our own. And we are finally getting some gold there. Winning this, so no point in sending hero there. <coughs> <coughs> but if we can force the enemies to sink in gold into heroes, <coughs> how we control the middle lane with our army, we're gonna get close to them in arm strength. 
And yeah, we might be wasting hero here to deal with that tier 3, but it's tier 2 against tier 3. And we need at least one reliable tank anyway. I think it makes sense to tier 2 here to level up our heroes. I think going left four fortifications to get even more passive income would be ideal. Now we will see yet another goblin hero. Trixes are on our range units. That could work. Toxify is amazing, but. We need tier 3 units basically everywhere, if, uh, it's gonna be most effective to upgrade it. <clears throat> Rick just level 4 when he was summoned. That's yeah, gonna be scary for the guy. If he's gonna be hit, he's gonna be in trouble. A lot mill, I like that. Installing fear, let's go. Critical strike. Does it just go to free that? Oh my god, Rick, it might be incoming. <clears throat> Playing a bit aggressive there. But I think we should have enough gold before the Murlocs will attack our base. Um, Op Fire should help. We might even struggle with Murky. Oh my god, can we just take him down, please, before Murky will get it? We will get a big damage spell, but maybe we went a little bit too early with our hero here. Because he's not great at taking damage and he will probably be getting hit. <clears throat> I hope we will survive. Yeah, Rick is gonna be annoying. He went for a hero there actually, wow. Well, he's gonna be take the first scroll for both shrines. Hey, he's tier 4, but where the hell is Ricketts? Did we take him down? Did we kill a hero before Ricketts? Yeah, we did say Sajero, so Ricketts probably went left side. That's amazing. I read better not take too many hits anymore. Still probably win it, I think, with Adder Rats. Yeah. Pull three ends. Probably want to upgrade the big guys here as well. <coughs> wow. Why is he spawning so many stuff? Oh, he's doing so well because of the Agent of Life. Well, it would be annoying if he would kill us, right? Or at least kill my hero. Some damage spells, let's go. Some healing wards. They are only gonna be worth it if Capret will stay alive. Yikes. Better use another summoning spell. Nope, he's going down. You're kidding me. <clears throat> maybe not. Maybe not. You better get more stuff out here. ASAP. And heal up. Even here wouldn't he come from there. We cannot buy any millions anymore. But even if he would attack me, we would be fine. Our bones is ranged. Uh, uh, no, the mages. And tier 4. Demon worshippers. But enter air and healing ward. And the big guys that can summon support. 3 ends on kills. So there will be a lot of 3 ends today. <coughs> I don't mind him being slow, but I'm very happy that he didn't die. 
do want to go for your raid, collect these shrines. I think we, it might be worth it. Take the spell, but that's not killing me in the, completely yet. Let's get more armor and let's get more healing and health. He's struggling. Look at him. The guy's fighting for his life. And so far, so good. They might be uh, fighting over here, that's a good. Here on middle lane. So there's not much points for us to do it. I don't expect the Murlocs to send a special unit to us yet. But if we do and we get Xavier here, then that would be extreme scary. <clears throat> Let's uh, play it safe. He's tier 4. Oh my god, I hear a duel here apparently. I would have better survive it. Is my voice sounding different for you guys? Ooh. He's trying to mess up my uh, hero with the uh, curse. That's a good. He's up free on the murder call. <clears throat> That's very scary indeed. I don't know, the microphone might be playing games. It's probably just Sanjar. <laughs> Oi, oi, oi. Lovely. Well, he just barely survived. Wait, <clears throat> let's send uh, something here. Should be able to get some good gold from there. Research finished. Research finished. Research finished. We want to send a another hero. Do we now want to go tier three? We are in control of the shrine, so yeah, I think tier three is just gonna be enough. Doing it earlier than usual, but I think we can get away with it because we can use the Agnes goal, and then we should not struggle too much getting rid of a few stinky murlocs. I want this on tier 3 so that we have the Shadow Word of Death. Cool, guys. We might be a little bit close to the enemies now. <clears throat> Still a bit behind, but... Probably also because we are fighting on the long lane here. But if we make the correct upgrades, it shouldn't be the worst. Maybe we should go tier 4 there. Tier 4 against goblins. But as long as we control the lane, we should not fall too far behind. <laughs> this could really mess up someone. <clears throat> but let's do it here. That's Neptune, right? Or at least I think it is. Would he send them aggressive? I don't think so. Yeah, the Murlocs will also always back the bus. And the Gobs will have to deal with it, so... Good luck for them. <clears throat> Brazil, even with the curse, should probably be the uh, Elred there. No point in 
using a curse or the soul burn. <clears throat> you know what, let your soul burn him. You never know, man. Let's go aggressive to the goblins. He's gonna feel sting. We might actually push Rasil to the middle lane here. Would be meaningful to destroy that tower. Then that barracks is gonna be in danger as well. Even this barracks. He lost the orbs. Nippy also has to deal with Neptalon. I feel sorry for the poor goblin. Retainus is extremely tanky. <clears throat> yeah, he might lose this one already. Oh no, it's just three end. I think he is all over on not 13 Neptalon. Well, oh, goblins, we probably want a battle rage, toxic fire, critical strike, and the phantom power. <clears throat> Goblins are no more. But critically, the uh, Murlocs will probably take down the outpost for even more gold. But uh, that's not good. But we are at least close to the Murlocs, leading on research. We got more fortifications. <clears throat> but his biggest weapon, obviously, will be Neptalon, who's going to die at this explosion. But same for my wall army here. Now we will probably have to deal with Neptalon in our own base. This is not gonna be fun. The tech bot's coming for us, you're kidding me. But he's not defending the Murloc, so he will probably die there. Since he has only Gesso to defend himself. And he will be getting attacked with middle lane and on the uh, left side. So yeah, they might take over the shrine, annoyingly. Yeah, they will take over here. We will destroy the tower as well. <coughs> Probably want Xavius to deal with a potential Neptalon. Oh, I guess one might actually hold the line there for a little while. <coughs> You're kidding. And we might have to deal with them in our base. That's not fun. Let's get the loss of power. Why not? Moyuns could do wonders for us. So yeah, we will probably need savers here. Yeah, he's going to hold long enough for the goblins to attack me. That's hideous. Our special unit is probably going to be beaten into submission there. Let's at least enable ourselves to focus on the right side. Yeah, that's the biggest issue. He hardly has any units, so even if you send a big guy... Yeah, he's leaving. Even if you send a big guy... He's not going to gain too, many, uh, too much experience. I think we'll try it. <clears throat> Let's go tier 2. Get him on some level at least. At least he got the experience from uh, the Murloc hero. Mutanus. Oh my god. Sejira is taking down. Guess are you kidding me? But we might not pick up experience at all here. Yeah, thank you for that, goblins. 
so close to getting those zeros, but we get no experience whatsoever. I just said yeah, I sent him here because he probably would have died already. And now he's gonna go middle lane. So I think we made a good decision there. But Sejira is coming for us. Let's get more damage over time to the enemies. Um, sadly, shrines on the short lane and long lane. We're not going to be able to take control there. But this one will be ours at least. But will it stay ours for the next two minutes? It's going to be close. This tier is going to be extremely annoying. Neptun will not struggle with Ugnat at all. Four for free. He's taking plenty of hits there. <clears throat> That's promising. Yeah, Alaret will probably fall against Sajira. It's gotta be Xavius. A mana not looking too good. You're kidding me, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> Therefore, long lane less useful than on the short lane, but if you do not do it, I'm gonna bleed out here, I think. <coughs> yeah, we did not deal too much damage so, to Neplan with Ilgnat. Unsurprisingly. Save still going down. We should be able to use this one in the next uh, 10 seconds. Oh, we better save up for you, Gnat. You're kidding me. <clears throat> well, we better use this before the Murloc uses it against us. Let's be aggressive. It's not gonna be too much worth it. God knows what's over here, though. Not certain whether Capret is gonna have a great time here, but at least if we keep the Murlox Bay there, we can focus on the left side, even if it's just with Xavius. If we did not, this wave would dealt potential critical damage there. Is the microphone muted? No, it is not. And if it was the ambient dark magic, if we went for our special unit, we'd get it messed up so hard here. Reinforce the middle lane, please. Nope, not yet. Kept rid of all the line. We can send Warmok Saviors from middle lane. We'll probably need him as well. <clears throat> Let's go tip for that as well. We might not have hero for a little while because Plus not having enough gold. Should be able to redirect. Training gene. Let's go there. 
Run, you fool. This Capretta did a mighty fine job there. Please switch, we might be on par with the Murlocs. Yeah, just like the head. It goes murky. Battle Rage, thank you for that. Probably want that upgraded soon again. Let's install more fear to these poor wicked murlocs. Neptun's going down. Then we are having a small breeder. <coughs> murlocs did lose a tower though. That's um, surprising. That's armor up, curse blood, big battle rage. Yeah, we might not send out our special that often. <clears throat> but every time we do it, it better be worth it. Yeah. Murlocs will have to be very cautious here as well. Because <clears throat> one hero here with Murky might not be sufficient. So Jira's gonna be annoying. Well, hello there. <coughs> Neptulon long lane? I see. That's an interesting move. You should fire off here. Depending... Save is probably the easiest hero to defend against. He probably wants Neptun to go bottom. He might actually succeed into doing that. <clears throat> but maybe not. So do we want to send Ugnat right side to defend the big guy? I don't think so. I think we want Nep uh, Ugnat. Oh, he's giving up. What a coward. What a coward. And what a excellent game we played here. Disappointing ending. But let's remember the rogue name Mofagas. Let's remember Sadie Boba as well. <clears throat> Bunch of weaklings. Despicable, despicable behavior there to live like that. Really sad, really sad. Got no words for it. Well, I got plenty of them. <laughs> But I want to end this positively, so let let's let's enjoy our victory. That was a beautiful game. Always love the horny goats. Ah. <sighs>